Hey guys, thanks for coming back and watching another video. Uh, so today's video is going to be kind of a two-part thing. Um, the first part, I wanted to show you how I treat my Barbies that have green ear um, because I've had a lot of people messaging me on Instagram and on YouTube asking me um, what I do. So I'm going to show you that today. And uh, the second part of the video, I'm going to show you some of the items that I found at an estate sale this weekend. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's jump right into it. So as you can see, I have my layout here. I have, uh, this is called CLR, as you can see, calcium, lime, and rust remover. Um, I have a bubble cut that I have already sort of prepped. I've actually already been treating her. Um, but I took a little bit of a break and I thought that would be a good opportunity to show you guys what I do. Um, I also have a little ceramic uh, ramekin bowl here, a pair of scissors, a little pair of tweezers, which come in very handy, uh, a Q-tip, and this is just a cotton pad, like a makeup removing cotton pad. So um, what I do when I start off, and you know, again, this is just the way that I do things, is I will actually, uh, attempt to very carefully remove the head from the body. Now, of course you don't have to do that. Um, and you know, a lot of people are hesitant to remove the head off of the body on the vintage Barbies because you may run the risk of, um, you know, splitting the neck, which obviously is kind of a, you know, some people can repair them, but it's not, that's, that's another, that's another topic. <laughs> so, um, you know, I decided to go ahead and, di and do it. I did it very carefully, um, but you know, this is my doll. So if I split the neck, then I'm, I'm just hurting myself. So I went ahead and removed the head. Um, and the other thing that I did, this is just sort of my own little thing here, is I wanted to kind of protect the hair. I'm really not sure if CLR does anything to the hair, but I, I almost kind of had a feeling when I treated my number four that it changed her hair and made it almost like more kind of a lemony yellow color. And that could have just been me being paranoid. I, I'm really not sure. But um, I decided when I was going to treat her that I wanted to at least attempt to kind of protect her hair from the CLR. Now, do I think that some is probably still getting on there? Yes. Um, I actually had a rubber band that was a little bit tighter holding the saran wrap. Uh, but I was also afraid that that was possibly going to damage the doll or leave a mark or something. So, um, so yeah, I just took a piece of, uh, a plastic wrap and a rubber band and just kind of tried to pull the hair back as best I could and expose the green ear areas. So, um, I've already been treating this doll for about a month and that's the thing with CLR is that it takes a very long time to pull the green out of the plastic in the head. Um, you know, it's not just an overnight process. Now you will see improvement um, just in the first night that you leave it on, but there will still be, you know, a green ring that you, if you're looking for it, you're going to see it. Now, if this doll was on display, you're, it's not going to be noticeable. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, if you really want it to come out and look great, it takes a very, very long time. So like I said, I've already been doing her for about a month. Um, and I just decided to kind of let it dry and I, you know, I washed it and now I'm going to try to put some more on. So that is the head. So normally what I will do is you don't need a whole lot of CLR, but here's the deal. This is going to be my little disclaimer in the first part. So do not do as Mandy does. Okay. I have bare hands. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, this stuff is very corrosive. You do not want to get this on your skin. And if you do happen to get some on your skin, you need to wash it off immediately because, um, it will do bad things. You know, you'll, you'll feel your skin start to get slick and yeah, you don't, you don't want to leave it on there for very long. As you can see, there is a giant list of warnings on here. You know, don't get it in your eyes, etc. Don't huff it, all that kind of stuff. So, Please, for the love of everything, please, please use gloves, okay? I'm recommending that you use gloves. I'm making the decision to not use gloves for myself, but if I harm myself, then that's what it is. So I will take some of this and 
and like I said you really don't need very much so I'll just kind of pour a little bit just enough to kind of cover the the bottom of the dish okay Put that off to the side and I don't do this as regularly as I probably should but I have read that you should take your q-tip take the head get a little bit of CLR and put it inside of the head and kind of wipe the area where the ears are because the green of course will go on the inside of the head as well and it's not very easy to treat that so let's go ahead and give it a good swab on the inside okay and when I first did this and I pulled this q-tip out it was covered in green so you know that that stuff is in there it has permeated okay so next step is I will take this and I'll show you why I use these of course there's different things that you can use that are absorbent and whatnot but what I like to do is I'll cut it in half and then I'll kind of cut like a little pizza slice right a little triangle if you will and one more little triangle and the reason that I cut it into this type of a shape is because I find that when you put it onto the head that it'll kind of cover the whole area and sometimes the green ear will start to kind of spread down to the jawline of the doll so this way you're kind of covering the whole thing you see what I'm saying and then it'll be the same thing on the other side it'll do another little pie slice on the other side so once I have my little triangles I will take my tweezers and I will give this a good dunking and I don't worry about like squeezing it out or anything like that you can if you want to again I'm just showing you my method and I will expose the ear go ahead and lay that on there and kind of press it down with my tweezers and please if you try this please please put some stinking gloves on okay just please put gloves on I was religious about putting on gloves when I first started doing this but this is my third doll that I'm doing it on and like I said it's a very lengthy process so I just got to the point where I'm like eh, gloves are expensive and um, I'm pretty confident that I can do this without them so okay taking my second wedge go ahead and give it a dunk and okay and I try my best not to get it on the rest of her makeup because I am just afraid that this will take off makeup. I don't know if it will, but and I really wanted to do it on this doll because uh, the guy that I bought it from, um, he gave me a good deal on the doll because she had really severe green hair. Um, but I mean, this doll is perfect. I mean, her her makeup is absolutely amazing. Her body is great. Um, I think the person that he bought her from, uh, you know, maybe he'd never taken her out of the box or something. I mean, she looks like immaculate. Her hair was perfect, everything. So it, I felt like this is definitely a, a worthwhile project. You know, if the doll is kind of beat up anyways, I mean, if you, if you're really feeling ambitious, but, um, basically you're going to repeat this process, uh, until the doll looks the way that you want it to. Um, I, the longest I think I've done it for is two months and I was happy with the results it was still slightly slightly green um, and I don't know if I continued on if it, if it would have completely cleared up or what but um, you know you definitely have to have patience if you're gonna try so I'll probably get for another month or so um, I'm not unhappy with the results so far but I just want to see see if I can do it a little bit longer so basically I will set her on the counter 
Um, I actually take a dish like this and I'll cover her just because I don't, uh, I don't want it to evaporate super fast and I do have cats so I don't want them to be up there sniffing or licking or you know those things so got to protect everybody so uh, yeah that's my process lots and lots of patience so um, but if you'd like you know follow me on Instagram and uh, whenever I finish up with her I'll get her dressed and uh, I'll show some updated pictures so all right that is that let me get all my tools out of the way. Okay, so I went to an estate sale this weekend and uh, they had a Barbie case that was filled with clothes and they had a doll in there that uh, was definitely not a vintage doll, which you see that a lot where, you know, people are just kind of piecing things together and, and putting it up as a lot and whatever. And it was just some doll from like the 80s and it wasn't anything I wanted, so. Um, but I started leafing through the clothes, and man, I'm so glad that I got this because there are so many cool things in here. So um, there was actually a couple of old Barbies that were in the box that I picked up as well. Um, not in great condition, but the outfits that they were wearing were definitely awesome. So one of them was wearing uh, Enchanted Evening, and this is quite nice. I mean, of course, you know, the material is... She, she was packed away, so the material is uh, a little wrinkly, but like no stains, nothing crazy, and I've never had Enchanted Evening before, so that was pretty cool. Uh, there was only one glove, sadly, but that's okay. I probably have an extra glove somewhere tucked away. Uh, she had her little fur stole or wrap or whatever this thing is called, little shoulder thing. Very cool. Um, I don't know if this is a common thing, but I've noticed that the, the fluff is coming out. Does anybody else have this outfit? Do you have problems with the fluff? It was like as soon as I took it off of her, there was just little white fluffy things everywhere. And I do actually, apparently, have at least one correct shoe. Okay, so these two shoes are not the same shoe. This one is pink and this one is clear. And I think this one came with the clear ones. But it's cool because it actually has glitter that goes across here, which is really neat. The pink one, I'm not sure. This might have gone with a lingerie outfit or something. It has glitter on the back. The heel is broken, unfortunately. Not everything holds up, but you know what? The dress, everything else looks fantastic. So I was quite pleased with Enchanted Evening. All right, next up we have holiday dance. And yes, this is my handwriting. I've already gone through and bagged and labeled these things because that's what I like to do. That is one of my hobbies. I like to take stuff that is messed up and clean it up. And I also like to go through and ransack and find complete sets of things, which is awesome. So this dress is fantastic. Again, yeah, it's been in a box, so it's a little wrinkly, but this thing is like super duper shiny so awesome. The straps, everything looks so nice. The zipper is great, has the tag on the inside. This dress is fantastic. I love this. Love, love, love. It also comes with this little kind of a scarfy belt thing, and I believe it wraps around her waist. What do you call these things? A sash? What is this? Maybe a sash. Um, but apparently it's a big deal to still have the beads on, which this one does, and it has the little clasp on here, so when you wrap it around you can attach it, and it kind of hangs off off the side like this. So, so pretty. Still very vibrantly orange, which is fantastic. And it also comes with these awesome, whoops, these awesome pumps. Love these. These are not like your traditional vintage Barbie shoe. These are very, very cool. So I have both of those. This one has both of its gloves. And this awesome little dimpled gold purse. So as far as I know, I believe that is a complete set, which is awesome. Maybe at some point I will put one of my dolls in this because I would like to see what it looks like on the doll. 
But the cool thing is, like, some of these I've never seen before. So, I get very excited because I'm like, oh, I really like that. Is that actual Barbie? Oh, it's got the Barbie tag. Oh, that's so exciting, you know? Very exciting. Okay, next one is actually not a Barbie outfit. So forgive me that I'm showing you something that is not Barbie. So this is a Tammy outfit, which uh, I love Tammy. I think she's adorable, and I think they did a great, great job with the clothing for the Tammy doll also. Lots of good details. So this is Puddle Jumper. So here's the jacket. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it also comes with like a little triangular scarf, which I do not have. But I do have her little red bag, which is very cute. It also comes with this little umbrella. Adorbs, okay. This is super duper cute. It doesn't open, but that's okay. Very cute. And two little boots. Yeah, little Tammy outfit. All right, which actually I, I have a Tammy doll and she is wearing a outfit but I don't really have a lot of Tammy things, so it's kind of cool. All right, next up is something that I actually have already, but it is another awesome piece. This is the Dress to Busy Morning. And actually the other accessories, some of the other accessories, the telephone, um, I'm trying to remember what else. There's something else in there too that went with this set. Um, I did not have with my dress. So this is the this is the other dress. And the only reason I'm not keeping it, it has a couple little spots on the side, but otherwise this is adorable and is gonna make somebody very happy. Very cute. Oh you know what there's some spots up here too. But you put that on a doll, display it on your shelf, super cute. Then of course there's the blue version. Suburban shopper. Oh, the hat, that's what it was. That, that was the other piece I had. All right, next up, we have Career Girl, which I did not have before. And we have a lot of pieces in here. So this is kind of like a little suit, which I still have to get it cleaned up. I just bagged it. You can always get rid of these little frayed ends and give it a, a wash, and kind of reshape it and it'll look brand new. So that's a little jacket, comes with a little skirt, cute, 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 and a little hat that has a little flower on there, adorable. And this is the red shirt that goes underneath, and two little black shoes. The other cool thing is uh, there was actually a ton of uh, like the mule, mule pumps, I guess you call them, in there, and from what I could tell, they were all labeled Japan, which uh, a lot of collectors look for because uh, the Barbie stuff was originally manufactured in Japan. So that's how you know that that's like the, the real deal old stuff. All right, this one I guess I don't necessarily have to take out of the bag. You can see it pretty well. I believe this is just a, you know, they came out with like the pack stuff that was like supposed to be add-ons to your existing things. Um, usually very basic, but I believe this is this was a pack dress a little seek seek silk <laughs> chic sh oh my gosh guys guys i promise you that i can speak okay <laughs> it is a silk sheath dress <laughs> but it's in pretty good shape zipper looks good doesn't look like there's any major stains or anything again i could probably trim off a couple little threads off of there but it's actually very cute and i I've, I've not seen that before either so all right, next up, which was pretty exciting to me, is the stewardess outfit. Um, I actually do have the American Airlines bag somewhere. Uh, I will have to find it so that I can get everybody together. But this has the full outfit, which, you know, it doesn't look like much, but like it has this little American Airlines thing, this little pin right here. Like, how cute is that? How cute. And it's in really good shape. So can't be upset about that. And we have the hat, which if I'm not mistaken, I think this hat is supposed to have something on it somewhere. And it does seem to be a little bit split here. But again, I'm not going to stress that because I have the hat. 
And it comes with two little shoes. So, very cool. Did not have that before. Right, and these bags are slippery. They're about to go fly in here. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to show you my, what is definitely my favorite thing that was in here, and I have never seen this before. I think it is awesome. So this is called Lunch Date. Apparently it is hard to find in good condition, and I believe I have all the pieces. Oh. One more little thing. I just read this recently on one of my Barbie groups. If you are storing something and it needs to be folded for whatever reason, which I've chosen to put it in a small bag, um, they recommend that you take like a tissue or a paper towel and you put it in there when you are folding and it will create more of a C curve than a flat press and it will be less likely to crease. So I'm going to try that out. This is the first one that I've tried it on. But guys, look how cute this dress is. Look how cute it's got like a little fruit print on it oh my gosh it is just so so cute i love this and it also came with a little orange purse and some little orange shoes like how cute so cute all right tucked away. This will be going on display at some point in time. I've just had a busy weekend, you know? That's how it goes. That is how it goes. All right. So let's see here. I actually did get some other pieces. Um, there's a lot of like, I guess mommy made stuff, you know, handmade items in here. Um, there are a little pair of black pants, which do have a Barbie tag on the inside. And this solid red shirt which these are always interesting because it's actually got like a bodysuit kind of thing at the bottom so that it stays tucked in i guess and i don't know if these are pack items or if they came with a set or whatever seems like i've seen the red shirt before and of course there's the checkered version um, that comes with the picnic set but i want to say these might just be individual pieces but very cute uh let's see there is also the couple of undergarment pieces there's a little undergarment set. Um, I think it comes with like maybe two more pieces, maybe some other stuff, but kind of cool. I've seen it in pictures, but I've never held it in my hand. So it's kind of neat. And what else do we have? Oh yeah. These are the scooter uh, bottoms that go with her little bathing suit thing that she wears. And I'm not sure if these were like an accessory pack that you could purchase since they're all the same, but I have four different color little purses, which of course the orange one I put with the dress. And I don't know if these go with specific outfits or if these were sold as just a little pack of purses, but cute, excellent condition. Very pleased with those. And all right, I think that's it for what's in the case. Um, I actually did have one more item, let's see, that was on one of the dolls that I purchased, that is called Midnight Blue, and this is almost complete, and it is in excellent, excellent condition. I get the feeling that, uh, the owner maybe was an original owner and perhaps these items were in storage and not played with because the condition is absolutely fantastic um you know you can see that obviously this is kind of doll shaped because it was on the doll in the box probably in another box so this is like super duper shiny this royal blue is awesome there's no stains no fading like incredible very regal looking it has this little cape little sleeveless cape fur trim looks awesome the inside looks awesome and of course i mean it's a little crinkly that's that's what happens when things are in storage and a little slippery because it's sort of a silky material but really nice really really nice 
I also have two gloves. I have only one shoe. That is why it's not complete. This is the silver dimpled bag, just like the gold one I showed you earlier. And this little necklace, which this necklace was used actually for a lot of outfits. Um, it's got like three beads that are a little bit bigger in the center and then it gets smaller. And there's a little hook to put it on. Um, I have one that's similar to this. It's pink. It's for Plantation Bell. Um, this is the white one. I think it came with a couple of like wedding sets, uh, Easter, Easter parade maybe. I'm trying to remember. There's some other sets that this came with, but it definitely belongs with this one. So very exciting. So uh, I guess that's it today, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I hope you learned something. <laughs> and uh, let me know what you guys do uh, to treat your green air. If you have any tips or tricks. Um, I'm always looking to learn, learn new things, make things more efficient. Um, yeah. So leave me a comment. Leave me some love. Let me know what's going on. Let me know how your life's going. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.